Hi, Chad and Karen. It's Dennis Daly in Palm Springs, California. I know I could have sent you an email, but I thought this might be faster and a little bit more fun in this age of electronics. I'm semi-retired, but for 45 years I was a radio journalist, working first in southern Indiana, which isn't exactly Tornado Alley, but it's on the edge of it, and I quickly learned the importance of good, fast information. For 20 years, I was a national newscaster for the old UPI radio network. During the 80s and 90s, I was on one of the boards of the National Weather Association. I even wrote that group's slogan, bringing weather down to earth, because I wanted to emphasize the importance of education when it comes to weather and meteorology. In 1988, I addressed the NWA convention group in Denver looking at the differences between watches and warnings. One of the things I pointed out from my experience is that a lot of people don't know the difference, and at that time I suggested some changes. We had a lot of study committees bringing in some pretty damning information, but people didn't know the difference. One major study was conducted in the Carbondale, Illinois area. The woman who did that study found that nearly half of those people who lived in mobile homes thought that a thunderstorm warning was inferior to a tornado watch. Now, the National Weather Service made a lot of hay about the money it had spent trying to justify the continuance of the words watch and warning. But here's the problem. In the very old days, they used that gibberish about 50 miles along and 20 miles either side of a line from a point 15 miles. You remember that. Now they'll say the National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for yada, yada, yada. A tornado has been sighted. Well, the problem is they never went to journalism school because the first line of that warning should be a tornado has been sighted 20 miles north of Conyers, Georgia, moving east. Therefore, the National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for the area. Well, if they're not going to change that, here's what I'm suggesting, and I'd like to hear your comments and have somebody as reputable as you are talk about it. If they won't change watch and warning, add a word. A tornado possibility watch, a tornado sighting warning. And all the watches and warnings, at least the warnings, should lead off with the fact that there's a tornado, either sighted by radar or state police or whatever, because they make it sound as if the warning is the news story. If your radio shuts off after hearing the National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for yada, 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 and you don't hear where it is, you may be in big trouble. But if you know there's a tornado just north of Conyers, Georgia, you don't care who issued the warning, you know where the tornado is. Anyway, I would welcome your input on this. 1988 was a long time ago, and I guess it took this long for me to get mad about it again. Thanks a lot, and keep up the good work.